tosses that we can do in color guard and physics of where you should toss. And yeah. Okay, so hand placements on a regular toss. Um, when you release the toss, you want it to be straight. You don't want it to be over here. You don't want it to be over here. I'll show some examples of what happens when your hand's over here. If you release a regular toss with your hand over here, it'll go that way. If you release with your hand in that way, not straight up and down, but that way, it'll go. Now, if you release straight up and down, it lands right where it's supposed to. Now, we're also going, I'm also going to explain a few things about uh, pressure and the amount of momentum you give it. You just want to push it down and it'll give it just the right amount to land right where it's supposed to. You crank it, it's going to over-rotate. You don't give it enough, it's going to under-rotate. So, just give it enough and it lands right where it's supposed to. Okay. A bomb toss is a toss that's done from the end of the pole without, that's not, that doesn't have a silk on it, and your palm is up, and you toss from the end. So, when you're tossing, this one's about all about momentum. So, toss, you have to give it some momentum and pressure to get going. With a bomb toss, you can do it without getting it started, but it takes more arm power. It takes simply more arm power to get it going. You have to actually use more pressure from your arm. Now, if you give it momentum, I'm going to do an overhead butterfly. To get it started, it already has momentum, and then hardly any power from your hand at all. You just quick release it. It already has the momentum, the flag just carries itself around. You can also do it this way. By cranking it, same thing. So, bomb tosses are all about momentum. If you want to just do it from here, you have to give it more ump from your arm, more pressure to get it going. But if you already give it momentum, the flag does the work for you. And you just release it. That's a bomb toss. For a regular toss, your hand goes right here when you toss it. So that when it rotates, when you release it, it rotates around its center point, which is right here. Every flag has its balance point. In other words, it has torque. Okay, and then for the bomb toss, it's right here, and so you toss it from here, and when you rotate it, it still rotates around that center place. And so, all the tosses rotate around this one point. That's why you're able to catch them, when and where you catch them, that's why the flat toss is able to work, and so that is torque. Okay, so, as you can see, we're doing rifle now. And she is doing drop spins. <sighs> Looks pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just kind of, you can just sit here and talk all day and just keep doing this, right, if you know how, right? Okay, it's not as easy as it looks. The slower you get, the more control you have to have over the rifle because the rifle doesn't have its own momentum to keep it going after the initial one turn. But the faster you get, the less control you have over the rifle and the more momentum the rifle has of itself and you have less control over where that thing is going. Like that. So, initially, drop spins are a combination of your pressure on the rifle and the rifle's momentum. Slower you want to go, the more control you have to have and the more pressure you have to add to the rifle in order to keep the momentum going. And again, the faster you get, the less control you have and it has its own momentum. <laughs> So, that's drop spins. Okay, so now we're going to do some tosses on the rifle. They're pretty much the same as on the flag, except for different equipment, different, um, you hold it differently and stuff, but it has pretty much the same principles. Um, it has a rotation point, a center balance point, and depending on where you place your hands and how much pressure you give depends on the size of toss you do. Um, Annie's going to be doing some singles now, left and right. That was a left single, right single, left single, single and as you can see the tosses are just staying right in front of her face and she's not giving it any prep power or anything she's just letting it toss in front of her and so those are singles they should be tight and to your face because of how much pressure you should be giving them and so on and so forth also there's a law 
a physics law. It's one of Newton's laws. <laughs> and it is, keep tossing. Uh, an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Annie's going to catch a single now um, one-handed and watch what the rifle does. It keeps going. So if she wouldn't, if she doesn't catch it with both hands, it keeps going. The momentum of the rifle will keep it going. But if she catches it two-handed, go, it stops it. And depending on where you stop it, you can stop it angled up, flat, angled down. Just depends on where you stop it. Okay, now I'm going to do a double. And I'm going to show you, as you can tell, the singles are just in front of your face. No prepping or anything of the rifle. Um, for a double, you prep it a little bit, and you release it here. So it should spin in front of your face. Like that. That was a double. And I released, I prepped it, and I released here. A triple. Okay. You prep it again, and release just a little bit higher than the double, and it'll make it go higher. So prep, release, prep, release. One, two, three. And you notice that that was under rotated, so it had to be caught down here. In order for it to be caught there, it just depends on where you release it. Always depends on where you release it. So, that was single, double, and triples. And now Veronica's going to show a couple of just other little color guard things. That's an air blade. You have to do it this way this little trick that I've this way because it's butt heavy and so it carries it up. If you did it butt down first, it doesn't carry it up as far because the nose isn't as heavy. So anyway, and just some other things. All balance points. Just some cool stuff. for dance, but physics just the same. We have to hold it in certain places to get the flag to do what we want. Angles. Like a flag and a rifle, the saber uses torque and momentum and pressure, and it has a balance point that rotates around. And uh, basically, color guard uses uh, everything in color guard uses physics, and we're just going to show you a few tricks that can be run on this. Okay, go.